Buenos nachos and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're going to be performing an upgrade on the Xbox. The upgrade you ask? Well, we're going to be upgrading to a 1 gigahertz CPU. So without further ado, let's begin. The first thing we'll be doing, of course, is removing the plastic off of this Pentium processor here. There are easier ways to do this, but uh, in the interest of time. And now we need to remove the BGA from this board. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this in our BGA machine, and we will begin the process of removing the BGA. All right, and now we wait to check and see if we're at temperature. We are. Looks like we're at temperature, so let's go ahead and remove the BGA. And there you have it. It is removed. We'll go ahead and begin the process of cleaning up the old solder from this BGA. That way we can prep it for the reball. And the soldering tip that we'll be using today is our spatula tip right here. That is the T15-1402. So we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and add some good old fashioned king bow flux. And when I'm cleaning up these BGAs, I'm not really applying any pressure. I'm just kind of floating over the BGA. All right, that looks pretty clean. We'll clean up the spent flux with some alcohol and some Kimtech wipes. And it looks like we're ready for the reball process nice and clean. This particular BGA uses 0.76 millimeter solder balls. We'll be using our Amtec flux, it's tacky flux. It looks like a lot of flux but I assure you it's gonna get all wiped away here in a second. And we're just applying it with a brush. There you are. It's ready for the stencil. Now that it's aligned, we can go ahead and put our solder balls on here. Of course, there are many ways you can do this. I know there are people that will apply solder paste and use a stencil to do that. And I'm going to remove the excess solder balls from this. Just using our X-Acto blade. Then, of course, we'll fill in the solder balls that have been pulled off or did not get filled in.
And we do have a few that need to get filled in. However, the one in the upper, the one in the upper right hand side over here does not need to be filled in. Looks like we're good to go. We'll go ahead and reattach these solder spheres and then we'll go ahead and prep the Xbox. We finished prepping our board so that we can put it on the BGA machine, protecting of course the areas that we've performed previous work on and of course these capacitors that are right over here next to the CPU that we don't want to explode. So we don't really need the entire board to be heated. This isn't like the 360 where we'll have problems if you don't heat the entire board. So we're properly aligned. And right there will do. All right, we're gonna go ahead and remove the CPU. See you in a couple minutes. We've already reached temperature so that we can remove the CPU. And there you have it, it is removed. All right, we're gonna add some flux. That way we can remove the old solder and prep it for the new CPU. And I'm just floating on top of it. I'm not pressing down or applying any kind of pressure. We're getting all the big stuff. And we're just floating on top of this. We're not doing anything spectacular. And you wanna make sure you have a nice clean surface. That way the new chip will adhere with no problem. And we're removing the spent flux. And now we'll apply some BGA flux. And we'll go ahead and apply that with our brush. And now we'll go ahead and install our upgraded CPU. And the CPU fits right on there, right into the groove. We'll go ahead and start up our profile and we'll see you back at the Xbox. All right, so we have the majority of the Xbox put back together. Let's go ahead and hook up the cables and see what happens. So let's see, HDMI, found it on the first try. Now for the power. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and hook up a controller here. I just wanted to state that I previously installed the 128 MB RAM, the Stellar, and of course the HD Plus into this console, and the CPU is the final upgrade. So let's go ahead and power this thing on and see what happens. And do I get my screen? Yes. So let's go ahead and go into the Stellar menu and see what happens. 
It's taking a little while because we do not have our DVD drive hooked up, nor do we have a hard drive plugged in. I will say that it is good news because we would have been seeing fragging if the CPU was not attached properly or if it was incompatible, which, which we know this one is compatible. Error code seven, because I don't have anything hooked up. We are seeing one gigahertz right there, 999 megahertz, one gigahertz, giggles. 72 MB RAM, even though I have 128 MB RAM. I wonder what's going on here. So let's go to enhancements. Let's go ahead and turn on enhanced game compatibility, microcode support, and PFN support. Let's go ahead and exit, save settings. It's going to reboot and then we'll go right back into the Stellar menu and see what the memory actually is supposed to be. 128 MB, of course. All right, we do have 136 MB RAM, so let's go ahead and put the console completely back together and then try out a game. And there it is, Half-Life 2. I previously recorded some footage on this Xbox without it having an upgraded CPU. Now let's go ahead and see what it looks like with the upgraded CPU. All right, here we are. I didn't see you get on. This is my third transfer this year. This game already feels like it's going a little bit quicker than previous. It kind of felt like really chuggy before. Get out of my way. Yeah, we were, unfortunately. All right, we are now outside. Is one gigahertz smoother? It's kind of hard to tell if it's smoother. I don't have a frame rate counter, but I'm sure 400 more megahertz isn't too bad. We just finished trying out Half-Life 2. and we did a side-by-side -side comparison. You be the judge on whether the one gigahertz CPU does a little bit better than the original Xbox CPU that's on there, which I think is like 733 megahertz. Anyway, if you found this video helpful or useful, please remember to leave us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.